Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Newts by Sum 41. Uh, it's a relatively easy song to play. It's quite fast, but um, it's mainly power chords through the whole song. So I'm going to teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, and I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the song, let me know what songs I should do next as well. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel and you want to print off the tabs, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, so the song just um, comes in with a little uh, guitar going. So just little percussive hits, doing eight hits all down strokes. And then we get to this intro part where the distorted guitar um, comes in. There is another overdubbed um, guitar part, which um, I'm going to show you later on in the song. Uh, but the main sort of riffage guitar goes like this. So to play that, F power chord, which is E1 and A3. I'm using my first and third fingers, or using my first and little finger, it doesn't matter which. Uh, and we're going to hit eight hits down. So nice and fast. And then, so that's an F power chord. We then go to D flat, which is A4 and D6. Again, eight hits on that. Then up two frets to an E flat power chord, which is A6 and D8. And then eight of those. And then the next bar, we've got an A flat power chord, which is E4 and A6. And if you play it with your first finger and your little finger, just because it does four of those, and then you're just going to move your first finger down to fret three and leave your little finger onto A6. And that's an E flat slash G chord, and four of those. So bar four, you go. So the whole line slowly, you get this. Speed one, two, three, four. That line repeats, so you play it twice round, and then that's the whole of the intro. That then goes to the verse. Uh, now we've got two lines of the verse that repeat. The first line of the verse goes like this. So we've got the F power chord, bit of palm muting. So eight of those. So E1, A3. Up three frets to E4 and A6. So that's an A flat power chord. A bar of that. Then go down a string to D flat. So A4 and D6. And we've got two bars of that. So it's. So the whole of that line are one, two, three, four. On to the next line, and we've got this. So F power chord, so the same as we did before, then A flat. And then into bar 11, we've got a B flat power chord, so E6 and A8. Then go down two frets to an A flat power chord. Four hits on that. Back to the B flat power chord, four hits on that. And then you're going to do E8 and A8. So the eighth fret on the E string and the A string, four hits on that. So bars 11 and 12 go. Up speed. So the whole of that line are one, two, three, four. Okay, so those two lines on the verse repeat. Um, let's just play both those lines uh, in one go. We won't repeat, we'll just play it once through. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. So that, like I say, those two lines repeat, uh, and then we get a little bit that goes into the chorus, so it's kind of like a little bridge part, I suppose. And you've got. 
So for that, A6, and then A6, A4, A6, so you've got. And then hold that note into the next um, bar. Don't play the notes in the brackets, they're just held on. And then you play two A6s, A4, A6, and then D3, back to A6, A4. So bar 14 goes. So bars 13 and 14 go. Bar 15 does the same as bar 13. And then just one more hit on the A6. And then A10 uh, four times. Okay, so the whole line slowly goes. And up speed. One, two, three, four. That takes us to the chorus. Um, there's kind of two lines to the chorus as well. The first line goes like this. So for that you've got an F power chord, uh, eight hits on that. Then this next power chord is like a D flat with A flat in the bass. So first finger is going to bar from the fourth fret of the E string. So it plays E4 and A4. And then third finger on D6. So you've got eight hits on that. And then just move your third finger up a string. So you've got an A flat power chord, which is E4 and A6, and eight hits on that. And then into the next bar, E flat, so A6 and D8, eight hits on that. So the whole of that chorus goes, so one, two, three, four. That repeats, so you play that line twice, and then you go on to the next line. We have more power chords, we've got D flat for a bar, F for a bar, A flat for a bar, and then E flat for a bar. So you've got. Uh, and that line also repeats, so you play that line twice. And then we get this little um, interlude part, which also goes over the intro. So if you wanted to play like the lead part over the intro, um, you can play this. So you just get this. So for that, it's just D15, then G12, G13, G12. So you got. The next bar's exactly the same, so you play the same thing twice. So Then D13, D15, G12, G13, up to G15, G13, G12, and then G13. So the bars 27 and 28 go. So the whole line are one, two, three, four. Uh, then it goes back to the verse, plays all the way through the verse, including the repeats, that kind of like bridge part. Uh, the chorus, straight through, um, each line's repeated uh, on both lines. And then we get this little bit after the um, second chorus, which kind of still kind of feels like the chorus, but it just changes it up a bit and goes like this. Uh, just before it goes to the middle eight. So for that, F power chord up on the eighth fret of the A string and D10. And it just goes. So da, da, da. And then down to a D flat power chord, same rhythm. Up a string to A flat and you go. Then E flat. Uh, it then repeats and plays the um, bars 29, 30 and 31. But then it goes on to 32 where we get that um, e flat slash G chord again. And just hits that three times. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's play that kind of uh, the end of the second chorus, really. A one, two, three. Four. 
Okay, um, that goes us to the middle eight. Now the middle eight is really like, sort of messy. It's really hard to hear um, what's playing. So I've kind of done a rough approximation of what's going through. It does change a little bit through it. But you've got this. So for that, B9 with D10 and G10, and you go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. And then go to 11 on the B string with G10 and D10, and same uh, rhythm for one bar. So down, up, up, down, up, up. And then just put your finger flat across the eighth fret across the D, G, and B strings. And again, the same rhythm. So the whole line, you get this. And it just keeps repeating that round the middle eight. Sometimes it goes. So it kind of takes his fingers off and just goes to the eighth fret. But basically you can play the same thing all the way through the whole of that middle eight. It then just goes back to the chorus and then plays that little melody part at the very end as well. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.